friends so in today's video we're going to be continuing our work on Spanish Jackie um she has finger waves in the front and some curly hair uh loose kind of curly hair in the back um and instead of making my life easier and just buying some clip and curly hair I'm like I can make that so that's what we're doing today uh, the great part is that I already have a wig that has some finger waves. I used it for my Louis cosplay not too long ago. And all I just have to do is make these wavy wefts. Uh, I thought I had enough hair, so I might have to stop this video and go back to the store and buy some more. But we're just going to use what we have for now. Um, and it's crazy. Like, I think me buying all these materials and the loose hair would come up to about as much as I would have with just buying the hair that just comes like that. But I didn't know that hair came like that. Um, and you let me learn. So we're going to be making some, uh, some left today. Let's go. Okay. So this is the hair that I'm going to be using the other materials, the got to be sprayed this was for $4.50 like come on why is that so bad and expensive the big the bottle that's way bigger was 10 I didn't realize that was 450 I'm so annoyed um then we have these uh snap on wig clips you I probably only need 10 but I got another pack they're a little small. Pack and then, and then the other thing they said you needed was masking tape. So you put two strips of masking tape, lay the hair on top of it, spray it so that it's hard and will stay in place and not move around. And then you sew it and then you attach it with these. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's pray for the best. Right now, I am gonna just prep this hair uh, and go get some more while the store is still open. Okay, so that's what the hair is looking like. I'm gonna spray this bit here. dry take it off and that is the section that we're gonna be uh, sewing okay so I only had enough hair to make three and then realized a little bit later after I had already uh, sprayed them that I needed to make them a little fuller than they were so that's what I did I added some more hair to this middle sec to the piece so that this could really form like stick together and form one piece um, and then they said to turn on the fan to help it dry so that's what I did Um, 
she said to have high tension. So let's make that tension higher. This is threaded. My needle's not even threaded. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's thread the needle. How about that? Working, so I took it off. Probably should have gotten the needle and thread that's for uh, extension here, but I was not thinking. But I did have a little bit of a thicker thread than just the normal thread, so I used that. I'm just knotting it a couple of times at the end, so I'll stay. The video that I saw, the girl. is facing toward the back of the hair. She said to put it through the first hole. straight through the hole. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But it stayed in the hair. Um, let's see if we can make that a little thicker. I might have to go and get the thicker
So it's staying through that, that gold hole, but not through the black ones. So I think I'm just going to sew it across the top, which was an option to the person that I watched said that you can sew it however you want, basically, as long as it'll stay. So I think I'm going to just put it through this first hole and then skip these two holes and just sew it across the top. Um, but she said to come back through, bring the, um, sew it through the hole, pull it back out a little bit so that you can get the needle back through the hole, through the knot, so that it makes a, you know, a little loop for itself. And then now I'm just gonna sew it right straight across trying to make sure I catch the weft. y'all so unfortunately we're not going to be able to get this wig completed tonight um like i had hoped so for some reason my hair is condensing so i still have a couple more strips that i need to do and they were all long like this well most of them were long like this but for some reason when i sewed it it got half the size i don't i didn't lose any hair from this one i lost hair from the first one but not from this that one um and it was just as long but um and you can see that it would have covered most of her head in the back uh but yeah i'm losing hair it's condensing so i have to go get more hair and then i also have to go get the needle and thread that is specifically for sewing in hair can't do that tonight it is already 8 30 so all of the hair stores are closed um but yeah once we do that we can get back on a row and finish this wig um i am gonna just finish sewing all the rest of the wefts and um hopefully we can get this done by <sighs> monday because <laughs> it's friday night right now and i work over the weekend so yeah we'll pick this up back up on monday
now I'm finding that the issue with this needle is that it is too, the end of the needle is too big to go through the little gold hole. So now um, I'm still having to go through the two bigger holes and not this um, last hole and then uh, across the top. So I'm still ending up doing the same process, but you know, what, what are you gonna do? But that's what we're gonna do for all of the tracks that I have prepared so far. So I just remembered that I had these clips and I put them over the hair and we'll see if they'll help to try and keep them in place while I sew over the hair to create a weft. So I'm going to try this new method and hopefully it, it works. Friends. So there you have it. Spanish Jackie's mullet. Um, I could have literally sewed these lefts straight onto the wig, but I wanted to make it removable just in case I wanted to do Louis again or a similar character. Um, would I do this again? Absolutely not. It took way too long. My sewing machine uh, kept jamming and the thread kept being pulled up and it was just not worth it. Um, so I definitely would not make my own wefts if I did not have to, but 
I'm glad um, I'm glad that I was able to do this and that I you know had the know-how I'm gonna try and uh, get these waves to sit a little bit more into their pattern later on when I you know do the full makeup test and everything um, and yeah I think Spanish Jackie is done uh, for the most part, I just had to pick up some accessories. Um, I didn't end up making the, the jacket in velvet. I found um, I found a jacket that I thought was suitable, so, so I purchased it. I was way too um, hesitant to work with velvet for my first time. So expensive. I, you know, 100% was going to mess up. So I didn't really want to take the leap and work with velvet. Uh, so I ended up buying a jacket that um, it's it, it will work well enough, right? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I just got to buy the makeup because I don't have um, any makeup for, for this look. She has a smoky eye. I don't really have anything like that. Um, what else? Um, I found some boots. Let me go get them. So I found some flat thigh high boots. The other ones that I have have a heel. I was 100% sure that I would not last the day in them. Uh, so I found some flats. I'm super excited about that. And I'm also working on her hand. Now it's just taking a long time for uh, this paint to dry and dry evenly. Um, she has a wooden hand. <laughs> this is just like a, just a plastic little thing that I found at Spirit Halloween that I cut off the chain bit and whatnot. Um, I don't think, I don't know if I'll end up using this. That's why I haven't really been, um, documenting the process of the hand. I had a wooden hand that I didn't like, um, found this. It was like, oh, maybe this will work. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we might we might not end up using it. I might just um, just put on a, on on a glove over over my hand and just call that a day. But yeah, y'all, thank you guys so much for coming along on this process with Spanish Jackie. So when I get all the other pieces for my other cosplay. Um, I will just do a final little look for both of them and that'll be that and we'll be ready for the con. It is imminent. Um, <laughs> we have what? It's, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have four days so I have a lot to do in these four days. Um, but yeah y'all, thank you guys so much for coming along on this little part of the adventure. And I will see you in the next video.